Have you ever wondered how I create my weekly YouTube videos? Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you my YouTube studio setup and the camera equipment I use to record my videos. Now, it's not necessary for everyone to have a crazy YouTube studio, but because I have a spare room in my apartment and my channel is all about filmmaking, I create my own studio. So let me introduce you to my YouTube studio and take you on the behind the scenes on how I film my YouTube videos. By the way, you will find all the camera equipments in the video description below, so feel free to check them out. Let's first start off with my main camera. As most of you might know, I use the Sony a7 III to record all of my videos. It's just such a awesome camera. I actually own two of these and I can't really complain about it. So for focusing, I use the autofocus. The focus area is set to zone, which is placed in the middle since I'm in the middle of the frame. Moving on to my Sony lens, I use the wide 28 mm F2 that covers myself and the desk in the background. It also allows for a shallow depth of field, giving that nice blurry background look. Now I'm honest with you guys. I use a teleprompter from Parrot to give my videos more structure. I always prepare my videos by writing down a script or bullet points. I highly suggest you plan your videos ahead and write it down. Now if it's a vlog, you of course can't write everything in advance, but at least have some kind of structure to have your storyline in your video. Now this teleprompter also helps a lot when you're not confident talking in front of a camera or struggle with the language you need to speak in. There are a lot of YouTubers that use a teleprompter that you don't see in the video. It definitely can help you improve your talking, your confidence, and with enough practice, you might not even need a teleprompter. Now, even though I use a teleprompter, it still happens to me that I mispronounce words because English is just not my first language. So I frequently have to re-record myself over and over again. Now let's move on. Below I have my small HD monitor to view my beautiful face. Now because the Sony a7 III does not have a flip out screen, the monitor definitely is useful for placing myself correctly in the frame. Now the small HD monitor is mounted to a friction arm that comes with a clamp which is tightened to my Raleigh Traveler Mini tripod. Next to the right, we have the Zoom H5 audio recorder, which I use to monitor my audio. The audio should be around minus 12 to minus six decibel and should never reach above zero. Otherwise, the audio will result in distortion. It's easy for me to control the audio levels with these wheels. I use an XLR cable to connect my Zoom H5 with the Rode NTG Plus 4 Shaka mic. Now this shotgun mic gives absolute incredible audio and is placed right above me as you can see. All right guys, this is important. A lot of beginner filmmakers make the mistake to invest in just a good camera but neglect the audio. Now let me tell you that the audio is as important as the video itself. Nobody wants to hear crappy audio, so I suggest you invest in a good one. Now the NTG4 Plus is attached to the Manfrotto boom stand. If you need a boom stand, this is the one to get. It's convertible and you can quickly easily set it up, which will save you a lot of time. So let's go over to my lighting setup. This massive light, which is the Aperture 120D Mark II, is by far the best light I've invested in. I know it's huge and it blocks even my doorway, but in order to get that soft look, I had to go for this light. Now let's go over to my desk. This desk was built using just IKEA furniture. There are many DIY studio setup that you can search on YouTube if you're on a low budget. I use the right part of the table to set up my camera that I need for the shoot. 
The left part is my editing space and because I use Final Cut Pro X as my main editing software, I own an iMac. I also have a MacBook Pro that is on an extended monitor arm, which is cool because whenever I need a second monitor, I just have to pull it out. As for the microphone, I just use the newer NW700 and the Behringer audio interface to record with the microphone. I use this mic mostly when I create my editing tutorials. Now because I create a lot of videos, I also need a lot of storage. That is why I bought the 8TB G-Rate external hard drive to store all of my footages in it. I edit all of my projects on my external hard drive because when saving it on my iMac, I lose performance. Now I use my audio engine A2 as my powered desktop speaker. The speakers definitely sound great. Coming to my final and favorite part are my LED lights. I installed an LED strip behind the desk and screwed a smart LED bulb to my lamp. Both of these smart LED lights are connected to my Alexa app, which will turn on every time I say, computer, turn on studio. Now, how freaking awesome is that? Now, as you can see, these LED lights make my background look more interesting and give it definitely more depth. I can even choose the color if I wanted to, depending on my mood. Computer, turn studio red. Okay. <sighs> Everybody has their own unique YouTube studio setup. I just love watching other YouTubers show their unique YouTube studio setup at home. It also helped and inspired me to create my own YouTube studio. It just makes it so much easier when everything is in place and you just have to press a few buttons to start record a video. And as you might know, creating good videos can be very time consuming. Now you don't have to have the newest or most expensive camera equipment in the world. The best camera might be the one you have in your pocket, which is your cell phone. Try working with what you have and work your way up. Remember, what's important is the content you produce. I will create a filmmaking kit for beginner creators uh, that I will link in the video description below. If you're on a low budget and are starting out with creating videos, this link will definitely help you make the right choices to buy the equipment that you really need. We made it guys. So if this video helped you, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. This would help me immensely because I'm planning on reaching a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much and hopefully see you the next time.